Hello, my name is Shemra Usman, and I'm here to talk about the windshield survey I conducted on Cardinal Polytechnic on Friday, the 7th of September, 2018, from the time of 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Cardinal State Polytechnic Tunawada campus is located at 44 Cardinal Polytechnic Road, Tunawada, Cardinal State, Nigeria. It was established in 1956 as the main campus of three in Kaduna, and the objective of the institution is to provide diverse instruction, training, and research in technology, the sciences, commerce, the humanities, and programs of in-service instruction for members of the public service in Nigeria. That's according to your website. It's a large institution with a population of close to 30,000 more than 25,000 students from all over Nigeria and neighboring countries, and 2,963 academic and non-academic staff. The Polytechnic offers national diploma and higher national diploma courses at the undergraduate level for 138 programs in 44 academic departments. So, so these are my community observations. As for the history, it's an established community from 1956 that consists of old academic buildings, lecture halls, student hostels, and staff quarters. There are several ongoing construction projects of new buildings and streets on the campus. This is the front gate entrance. As you can see, it's, um, it's clean and well um, maintained. Uh, as for the Computer Center of Science and Technology building, it looks very old and dilapidated. The Civil Engineering Department building also looks very old and not well maintained, but better than the CST building. This is the Civil Engineering Lecture Hall. It's also old and not well maintained. The chemical engineering department building looks better than the other two, but still old and definitely needs some better maintenance. This is the entrance to the girls' hostel. I didn't have a chance to go in, but from what I've heard, it's not really, um, uh, it's not well maintained. And there are some issues with the, um, with power, water, um, and also uh, um, power, water, and also in environmental issues, and as well as the toilet amenities not being up to standard. This is the boys' hostel entrance. This is one of the buildings inside the boys' hostel. As you can see, the boys have to hang their clothes outside, and um, they also have the same problems as the girls with lack of water, power, toilet, and amenities. And in, I, I don't have a picture of it, but one of the buildings actually had um, broken windows. These are the staff quarters. They're not really well maintained as well. As you can see, there, there are sheep grazing outside and there are the bushes that are overgrown around the building and it looks very old. This is a construction project by Tet Fund, which is the twin lecture theater that has been constructed for the, for the campus. This is another construction project again by Tet Fund, and this one has been ongoing since 2009. So the community consists of mostly young Nigerian women and women between the ages of 20 to 35 years. And they're mostly from the Hausa tribe, which is the dominant tribe of Northern Nigeria where Kaduna is located. So I, these are just pictures of some of the students that were around the campus. And as you can see, there these young and male and female students um, were walking around the campus. The community is mostly dominated by Muslim people because Hausa people are mostly Muslim, but they're Christians as well. So this is the mosque. It's old, it's not very well maintained. As you can see, the walls of the building are faded. And the church is looks much better than the mosque. And um, it has also a little bit of overgrown um, 
bushes, grass around it, but it's not as bad as the mosque. The community is clean in some parts, but mostly dirty. There are open dumping areas for refuse. There come collections of dried leaves and wood on the ground, and also collections of water in the gutters and ditches. There are many trees in the campus and open green spaces as well. It makes the air fresh for most part, but in dirty areas, the air is not really good. So this is an example of a clean area in the campus. This is the administrative block. So you can see the hedges are well trimmed and maintained. It looks nice and um, aesthetically pleasing compared to other parts of the of the campus. It's another clean area. Um, as you can see, there's a cock standing by the side of the road, um, which is not an uncommon sight on campus. This is one of the areas undergoing construction. You can see the construction um, uh, vehicles that are over there. This is an overgrown um, bush area at the back of the school. It's definitely not well maintained. And then also at the back of the school, there's a refuse dump, which is uh, definitely an environmental problem. Uh, this is a car parking area. As you can see, it just rained and there's collection of water in some of the ditches there. This is a uh, wood collection, which is not uncommon on the campus. There are many of these around and it's just there line by the street. So uh, I saw a clinic um, that served the whole institution. And there are also fire brigade services available as well. So this was the school medical center. It caters to all students and staff in the in the polytechnic. The community has a lot of business centers, food food shops, stores, pe petty trading, and um, banks. So these are one of the areas where there are mostly business centers and snack shops. As you can see, there's a roadside hawker hawking fruit and in front of um, other stores within the campus. There's a microfinance bank for the Cadena Polytechnic. There's also uh, commercial banks. This Grantee Trust Bank is one of the biggest banks in Nigeria as well as Echo Bank, which are located in the campus. As you can see, the building for Echo Bank is very nice, new, well-maintained, and clean. People in the community get around mostly on foot or by vehicles like private cars, motorcycles, or the school buses. The, there are well-paved streets on campus, as well as untired streets with potholes. There are sidewalks for pedestrians on most roads, but I did not see any speed limit signs or zebra crossings. Most cyclists were not wearing helmets on school premises, but there's, uh, there are security checkpoints at every gate leading into the school. So this was at the entrance of the main gate. As you can see, it's a well tarred street with nice aesthetic um, qualities. You can see the the hedges look nicely trimmed and the trees look um, good. Uh, this is a street with a sidewalk for pedestrians. Um, it, it looks okay. This is a school bus for students and staff to get around campus. As you can see, this is a Motorcycle parking area in front of the boys' hostel. Uh, you can't see any helmets on the motorcycles, which is a safety hazard. It's a security checkpoint in, at the main gate. Uh, as you can see, the security personnel are not enforcing that motorcyclists should wear helmets. This was, this is the Kaduna Polytechnic Road leading to the Polytechnic. And it's mostly tarred 
and do well maintaining well, most, uh, most parts. But as you can see, there's a small pothole here, which is not uncommon on most roads in Nigeria. Uh, this is the street that was undergoing construction, and you can see it has many potholes, which makes driving on it very hard. This is a street on with, with no sidewalk, and as you can see on the side, um, there are lots of wood and um, dead leaves and overgrown grass, which definitely poses a safety hazard as people will have to walk on the road. This was the staff entrance to the Polytechnic. As you can see, there's security personnel over there. Um, but as you can see outside here, there's a ditch filled with rainwater, which is definitely a, a, a safety hazard. This is one of the streets in the staff quarters. As you can see, it's untarred and not well kept. As you can see, there are also um, bushes, overgrown bushes on the side of the road. There are various signposts in the community that indicate the Polytechnic's mission and values, as well as the dress code. This is one of them. This is the mission and values of the Polytechnic, and also the dress code of the Polytechnic. There is a huge library within the premises, as well as an all encompassing school. So it contains nursery, primary, and secondary. Um, education. So the school library, I didn't have a chance to go inside, but um, it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to have the books for, to cater to most students and also computer services. This is the nursery, primary and secondary school. It's um, caters to staff children and also open to general public children. This was the gate for the school. I didn't have a chance to go in, but from what I saw outside, it actually looks well maintained and good and clean. Recreation. The students have areas for sports activities like football and basketball. There, there's a tourism village within the school and there are open spaces for leisurely activities like parties and carnivals. So this was the tourism village, it's the outside. I didn't have the chance to go inside, but from what I know, it's an African culture arts and crafts um, area where students showcase their talents and then also a, a leisure area for students to hang out. This was the football field, it's not well maintained. Um, and this in the back there is the basketball court. This is an open area for students' leisurely activities. You can see a canopy with uh, students hanging on their knees and chairs. But as you can see, there's a lot of it's dirty area with mud and doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. While I was there, there was um, a carnival going on for by the Nigerian Emirates Student Association for an event they were having. They were having. Um, so it was just nice to watch them. And as you can see, this is their, their leader of their, of their association. And uh, he was on a horse wearing Emirati attire. My overall assessment of the community, it's, a, it's an established one with road networks, transportation services, shops, banks, a school, a library, areas of worship, and areas of leisure. But the infrastructure is very old and dilapidated. It definitely needs to be revamped. Um, there are numerous environmental problems, like the open um, refuse dumps, also lack of toilet and amenities for the students, and also uh, the open gutters and with ditches with water collecting in them. Those are all um, public health issues. Then there are also safety hazards like um, no um, zebra crossings. Uh, there are also 
uh, some areas with no sidewalks for students, then there's just um, no um, enforcement of helmets for motorcyclists, which is definitely um, a health hazard. Okay, there are efforts by the leadership to revamp the school's image as evidenced by the ongoing construction projects. However, I believe that they need to step up the pace of these projects. I saw one, one project had been going on since 2009, which is nearly 10 years, and that, that definitely is unacceptable. There needs to be refurbishment of older structures, good maintenance of existing infrastructure, and more attention given to the cleanliness of the environment and the welfare of students and staff. Okay, thank you very much for listening to my presentation.